G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look and talking a little bit about, uh, I guess, content and document lifecycle management. Now, oftentimes when we're creating documents, we're tending to potentially take a copy of an existing document, uh, create a new document from that, let's call it a template, and make some changes, some small tweaks, uh, change uh, you know, placeholder text, all of that sort of stuff just to generate or create a new document. Now that obviously is error prone, so uh, waste we waste a lot of time in that particular process. Now something that is coming to, or actually is landed already in Microsoft 365 is this concept of content assembly. Now it's part of SharePoint syntax and what this allows you to do is basically create a template or templatize a, even if that's a word, uh, a Word document right now and be able to uh, give a user a template to fill out or, or create a document from a template in and, and fill out a couple of uh, form items. So it's like creating a form and then have that uh, content that you're creating from that form or information you're entering into that form actually be then merged into the created document. So it's similar to like a, a modern mail merge, I guess you could say. So let's have a look and see uh, what that actually looks like in practice. So we can see on the on the screen here, I'm just in a team site. Now this works also in a uh, SharePoint on communication site. It does actually need a SharePoint Syntex license though, because it is part of that. And what we can see here, in a document library, there's a new option that appears called Create Modern Template. And you can see here, we can create a template for the Word document in the library. We upload and we select the document that we wanna base that on, and then we can start to create it. So let's go ahead now and create this. We take through, uh, go through a, a little wizard here, and then we can select the document from our computer. Let's just go an employee agreement for example. So that's gonna load into this um, new screen that we call the template studio. The left-hand side, the document will be represented and loaded in there. And on the right-hand side, you can see that we've got all of our placeholders. So we can create placeholders in certain spots in the document and have users actually fill that out. So let's um, select some text and let's go through the process of adding some placeholders. So what we might do here, I know this is, isn't the relevant document, so let's just go uh, Dear uh, Daniel, and let's select the word name Daniel. So here we've got some tool tips, we can add a placeholder. So we name the placeholder here. So let's go um, employee as the, uh, as the name of this placeholder. And we can now, we've got a couple of different options. How are the authors or the creators of this document going to actually fill this out? So we can uh, enter a text or select a date and we've got the type of info here. We can have single line of text, multiple lines of text, number, date, time, email, or hyperlink. Or we can actually uh, connect this uh, placeholder to a column in a list, in an existing SharePoint list or a document library as well. So in this case, let's just choose a single line of text and we'll add that. We can see that that's now been highlighted. Let's now uh, select this text here. We'll select the whole paragraph and let's just name this intro. And this time, let's select multiple lines of text and we'll add that now too. Now the next thing here, what we might have is, um, let's just change this document and we'll go item name, insert name. So what we're gonna do here, let's highlight this piece of text and now let's select um, a list that we're gonna use as, um, as the reference. So let's select a list. You can see that it pops up uh, existing sites that I have got um, access to and you can see any list here. We've actually got one under sales and marketing and let's choose product list and we'll go next. And there we can see uh, choosing the source column based on the data type. So let's go title um, and we'll save that there. So now we can see uh, that we've got this selected. Let's give it a name and let's go uh, product name and we'll add that. 
So now that we're ready and I've uh, entered in a few uh, items here, we can, if we're not ready to publish it, we can save this as a draft, but I will publish this and let's have a look at how, where this sits and how we actually now uh, interact with this template. So we're back in the library. I'm just gonna refresh this page and under the new button now, we've now got a employee agreement template. All right, so now we can create a new employee agreement from that template that we just uh, created. We'll click on employee uh, agreement and you can see we're presented now with the document and also the fields that we need to fill out on the right hand side and that will merge into the document where those placeholders are. So we can see that we've got employee, which is this one here. We've got uh, the intro and the product name. We can rename this document here as well. So let's go Daniel Anderson, we'll hit enter. We've now can enter the employee name. So let's put my full name in here. Uh, this is the intro and let's just go and bio. And the product name, you'll see that we've now got the option to be able to open up that list and we can select a, uh, an item from that list. We'll click OK. And now what we do here is we create that document. Once this document is created based on that template, those entries that I've just entered are now going to be actually merged into that document. So let's now open that document. Here it is, it's been created. Um, and we'll open that up and let's have a look at the result of that. So you can see there, there's my name, there's the intro, and you can see here that I've now got this uh, game controller 3300W entered into that document. So the content assembly uh, part of SharePoint Syntax is going to provide you with a really great functionality to have uh, some templated documents and allow users to just simply fill out some form um, items uh, in, that, uh, in that template studio and then create the document from that template without even having to change any of the other content. Everything else is set. We just change the fields that we need to and a new document and the, the creation of that document is handled automatically for us. So there we have it, the SharePoint Syntax Content Assembly, um, a great process there to managing your templates and keeping things uh, nice and uh, structured and standardized for us. Thanks for watching, see you next time.